boys and girls, and welcome to your math assessment for the day. So today we are going to do a check for understanding to see how you're coming along with base 10 and writing numbers in standard form. So quickly, Ms. Hall is just going to do a little recap over what we've learned this week, and then you all are going to try to answer some of these questions on your own. So let me back up, and let's take a look at our first problem. So the first task that I want you all to be able to do is look at a base 10 model and tell me what number is represented. Whenever we are counting or adding or subtracting or anything in base 10, we always start with the ones place. Always start with the ones place. So we're going to go ahead and count and see how many we have in each place. When I'm done counting my ones, I'm going to record it in my ones place. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine ones here. So I'm going to record the number nine. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tens here. Seven tens here. And I'm going to count my tens by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Perfect. 70 is the same as 7 tens. Now I'm going to count my hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 hundreds. So my number is 679. Now let's move down here. This time I need to build the number 325 in base 10 form. So here we had to turn the base 10 into a number. Now we're turning a number into base 10. So I'm going to start with my, my ones. I draw five ones. One, two, three, four, five. I can color them in just to make it look neat and nice. Next, I'm going to move on to my tens. How many tens do I have here? I have two tens, so I'm drawing two rods. One, two. You all don't have to draw rectangles. You can just draw lines, and I'll know what that means. And last but not least, I have my hundreds. How many hundreds do I have? Three. So that means I'm drawing three squares. One, two. Three. I have three hundreds, two tens, which represents 20, and five ones. So my number is 325. All right, you all are going to show me that you're able to do that. Now I'm going to switch charts, and we're going to do some bundling. So this time I have... A bunch of ones, a bunch of tens, and some hundreds. I need to make sure I organize my ones and tens and bundle them correctly so that I have the right number. You all have to stop when you get to the number 10 and regroup. So let's try it. I come up here and I count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop. Regroup. So I circle my 10 and I'm going to draw another 10. So I stop, regroup, add a 10. Now I'm going to keep counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't have enough to make another 10, so I'm just going to stop there. I have eight ones. So eight goes in my ones place. Now I'm going to come over and count my tens. When I get to 100, I'm going to stop, regroup, and add 100. So up here we have, I'm, I'm going to count two different ways. First, I'm just going to count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I know I'm going to be regrouping. Just for the sake of counting by tens, I'm going to count my tens by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Stop. Regroup. And add a 100 square. Or 
or flat. How many tens do I have left? I have one, two, three tens left. Or 30. 10, 20, 30. Lastly, I'm going to count my hundreds. I have 100, 200, 300, 400. My final number is 438. So we started out with a bunch of ten, ones and a bunch of tens, but we regrouped until we had our final number. So boys and girls, you all are going to show me that you know how to do this in Seesaw. So go ahead and open the Seesaw document. Parents, please allow your students to do these assignments by themselves. And I can't wait to see your results.